As the summer winds down, I began to realize I have not been on our lakes one time all summer. And so I decided I'm going to get on the lakes before the summer is over. So here we are today in the boat, ready to go for a ride. And in the passenger seat today, we have... Stephanie Bujan. Oh, welcome, Stephanie. Isn't this a beautiful boat? This is an excellent boat. I think we're going to have fun. We're going to scout all around the lakes, see what's out there, and find out what's happening on the lakes, and try not to get hit in the process. That sounds like a good plan. Stephanie, while we're driving around, could you share with us exactly what you do for our community? I am the director of the Convention and Visitors Bureau here in town. Um, we are a nonprofit organization. Um, I, my office is located um, in the same building as the Chamber, um, the Kruger Realty Building, um, but we are a separate entity of the Chamber. Um, we we are, are a standalone. You're not connected at all? No, we oh, are well, not. Okay. Nope. Um, Prior to me starting um, a little over a year ago, my office was actually um, located at the Holiday Inn. Oh, that's right. I remember Yep. There. And um, just before I started, my, my board thought it would be a, a good transition and a good move for me to be located at the chamber. They had an extra office available sure, for, for me to rent. So, yeah. I, I packed up my stuff and moved down there. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Now, as we're, we're going around here, folks, notice the beautiful scenery. Isn't it, it is gorgeous. Now, for those of you who complained about my drive with Jim Zarding last time, I drive very well, so please don't send emails about my driving ability. I drive very well, even though not very much. So, okay, Stephanie, uh, share with us kind of a little bit of the history of your position or what the goal, that sort of thing, the okay. goals of, of your position for the community. Sure. Um, the Convention and Visitors Bureau receives um, its budget from the lodging facilities that we have here in town. Um, there's a 3% sales tax, so if I'm a visitor and I come and want to stay in one of our lodging facilities here in town, um, there's an additional 3% tax um, that I receive to promote the community, oh, to great. promote the area, um, and get people to, to come to Fairmont. Mm -hmm. um, the, big, the big push um, that the CBB have is heads on beds. Um, we're, we're looking for you know people to come in, stay in our lodging facilities, um, you know, get out and about in the community and um, so are you involved with uh, I don't know, like setting up events or, or what what is that how does that work or yeah how does how do you are involved in that um, the the Convention and Visitors Bureau um, will assist in in meetings and things like that and that was kind of um, one of our goals was to bring more meetings conventions um, sporting tournaments things like that to Great. town um, so the Convention and Visitors Bureau will, will assist in, in those types of things. Um, they'll make sure that there's uh, you know, a, a proper facility for them to use. Um, we do provide uh, welcome bags um, for, for our guests of meetings and conventions oh, and sporting great. events. Um, which, in, you know, it's just kind of a nice token to say welcome to our community and thank, sure. you, for, thank you for having your event here. Um, so we, we do do that. Um, we also assist in... Um, Helping with some of the other events and activities that go on around town. Sure. Um, I was on the sesquicentennial committee. Oh, absolutely. Um, and uh, um, various events and things like that. R really quick, I want to tell the audience, I'm driving. Look at me driving. Don't panic, I'm driving. Okay, there, we got that out of the way. Okay, <laughs> um, is there some things coming up you can share with us or give us a little uh, preview of that you're working on now? We, um, we're very excited for the future. and. Um, Fairmont is, is growing leaps and bounds, mm -hmm. and um, what a great time to, to bring visitors and people and, and showcase our community. Um, numerous, numerous ideas of events and festivals and things like that um, come across my desk, and um, we're very excited. Um, uh, just recently, there's been some, some really great ideas, and you know, I, would, I would like, as well as um, other, other committees, we would like to work together um, with some of these groups to ensure that, that these activities and events happen in Fairmont. So is your office a place that people can go if they have an idea or is that part of the process or how does that work? Yeah, we're always open. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I, I have an open door policy even if you want to stop in and, and say hi or whatever. Um, but we are, we are always very open to um, hearing new ideas and, and finding out what it is that the people of Fairmont want to see. Um, keeping in mind that, that the Convention and Visitors Bureau's goal is to have heads on beds um, with new festivals, events, things happening in town. Um, 
you know, we feel that it's important that the community and the city um, is, is interested or buys into this event and that we have the support of the community. And, you know, well, if and it's... Well, those, as you're saying, those kind of events make a difference for the whole community. Exactly. As far they as do. participation as well as the merchants and, and everyone benefit in a win-win is... Right. If I'm understanding correctly. Yes, yes, you are. And, you know, it's not necessarily only for visitors. Um, you know, it's for the, for the people in the community to, to have something to, you know, get together and do and, and experience as well. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, that's excellent. And I'll say this has been a great boat ride. And, and I'm sorry for not steering more. But we can kind of, when you're on the water, you can kind of just roll just a little bit more than when you're driving. That's right. what I'm going to go right. with at yeah. least for now. Yeah. So you're an this, excellent driver. Thank oh, you for oh, the Oh, thank ride. you. Thank yeah. you for saying that. Listen to that now. She said I was an excellent driver. We want to thank you very much for joining us in the passenger seat. Thank you very story. much for having me. Thank you for serving us, and uh, we'll be anxious to have you. Next time, what should we do next time? Uh, snowmobile? Boat ride? Airplane? There you go. Well, we'll see. This is Jeff Rouse for our story in the passenger seat.